Okay, let's begin with introduction of sound. What is sound? Sound comprises the spoken word, voice, music, and even a noise. It has a complex relationship that involves a vibrating objects which happen by any sound source. Then, a transmission medium, usually the air, a receiver, for example, our ear, and last, a preceptor, such as our brain. The image shows the power of sound. When an object vibrates in the air, it will cause the air particles around it to move and will cause an a vibration. Wave of the pressure and the eardrum will translate these changes in waveform as a sound. This particle will bump into a particles that are close to them and this will continue until they run out of energy. The pressure is measured in dB, means decibel, and the sound waves are known as a waveform. Okay, there are two types of sound, which is a noise sound and a pleasant sound. A noise sound has a irregular wave pattern. They do not have a repeated pattern. But for the wave of the pleasant noise, a regular wave pattern. The pattern is repeated over and over. When we talk about sound, there are two main things we need to look at, which are amplitude and a frequency. Every single sound that is created will have these two properties. Okay, first one, the amplitude. The loudness of the sound will refer to the amplitude. So, the amplitude is the size of the vibration or the size of the sound wave. The louder a sound, the more energy it has. This means loud sound has a large amplitude and a amplitude is measured in decibel. It's be determined by a, a energy or amplitude, whatever is a high or in the lower state. Next is the properties of the frequency. Frequency is to be the speed of the vibration. It's actually the pitch. The more frequency vibration occurs, the higher the pitch of the sound. Pitch will be measured in Hz. Okay, from this we are able to conclude the difference between amplitude and frequency. Amplitude is the energy, while frequency is the speed of the vibration. Okay, we go to the digital audio. Digital audio is a technology that used to record, store, manipulate, generate and reproduce sound using an audio signal that have been encoded in a digital form. It also refers to the sequence of discrete samples that are taken from an analog audio waveform. We can digitalize any sound. Normally, sampling rate is measured in kilohertz. For example, in a CD audio, samples are taken 44,000 and 100 times per second each with 16-bit sample depth. Digital audio is also the name of the entire technology of sound recording and reproduction using audio signal that have been encoded in digital form. The larger the sample size, the more accurate data will describe the recorded sound. The value of each sample is round off the nearest integer, called quantization. Making digital audio file is fairly straightforward on most computers. Plug a microphone into the microphone jacks of your computers. You should focus on two crucial aspects of preparing digital audio file. Firstly, balancing the needs for sound quality against file size. Higher quality usually mean by the large files, large download times on the internet, and the more storage space on a CD or DVD. The second, it will by setting a proper recording level to get a good and clean recording. Okay, let's go on MIDI audio. What is a MIDI? MIDI or Musical Digital Instrument Digital Surface 
is an electronic instrument computer communication system that was developed in 1980s. It allows instruments from various manufacturers to communicate with one another. We must know MIDI is not digitalized. It is a music data in a numerical form. MIDI is device dependent as it sounds better when played on a better quality MIDI device. A MIDI file is a set of timestamp commands that record musical act. The advantage of MIDI. In MIDI, we are able to write our own ordinal score easily and quickly. MIDI can sound better than any digital audio in certain circumference, depending on the quality of MIDI device. Then lastly, the data in MIDI can be edited. Okay, let we learn about the software that is needed to make MIDI audio. Firstly, is the notation software. Anything from basic solo to complete on section can be turned into high quality printable transcription using notation software. If the pages has been entered into the computer, you can make edits or other changes to your work, such as recording notes on a scale or transposing whole parts if you choose the wrong key. The sequential software. A music sequencer is a computer or a piece of software that can capture, edit, or play back music by handling note and performance data in variety of format, most commonly in CV, gate, MIDI, or Open Sound Control (OSC), as well as audio and automation data for DAWs and plugins. Next. Synthesizer. A synthesizer is an electronic musical instrument, typically operated by a keyboard, producing a wide variety of sound by generating and combining signal of different frequency. Lastly, MIDI keyboard. A MIDI keyboard or controller keyboard is a typically a piano-style electronic musical keyboard, often with other buttons, wheels, sliders used for sending MIDI or commands over a USB or MIDI 5-pin cable to the other musical device or computers. Now, for as you can see, these are the difference between digital audio and MIDI audio. As you can see, the digital audio represents as a sound store in form of sample. As example, Recording are the excellent for this digital audio. When recorded audio, the audio will be in term of sound wave. Why? MIDI audio are not digital sound. We are not recording in term of hearing but in term of command of musical action. Just like we play music instrument. When you want to create a music or sound, we use the music instrument and press the key to make suitable for making music. Digital audio is a device dependent, meaning the sound will be played the same even thought you play the sound on your phone, then you play it in your other device, such as laptop or tablet. It will remain the same. While MIDI is a control to digital audio, it's a device dependent, playback dependent on the playback device. It may produce the same music, but the sound will be different. Easy to understand when you play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with two different music instruments such as piano or guitar, the common are same but sound is different. Okay, the size the of digital audio is bigger because it's required to storage larger space and size of playback quality and as a consistent quality playback. Why MIDI? just need a small audio file because it allows a web page to load and play quickly but sadly it will play back very low quality compared to the digital audio. Digital audio is easily to spoken dialogue but MIDI not suitable for spoken dialogue as it for performance data the we use as music note 
what we played on musical instrument digital audio is very user friendly as it does not require music theory knowledge why am i audio need to have musical knowledge such as musical instrument to construct a musical sound okay let's we learn about audio file format it is a way of recognized methodology for compressing data bits of digitalized sound into a data file the structure of the file must be known even before the data can be saved or later loaded into the computer either to be edited or placed as a sound so the file of name extension identify the method of storage use a midi musical instrument digital interfaces use mid file to music authoring and mixing program as well as hardware device then kar extensions it's incorporated with encoding specifications it will contain reference data such as song lyrics and album dot smf Standard MIDI file contain the codes for musical events. Okay, for the audio digital, on the multicast digital sound may be stored as a data file, resource, or application such as audio interchange file format (AIFF) is an audio file format standard for storing sound data. In Windows, digitalized sounds usually stored as WAV file. It is a waveform audio file format. It's a subset of Microsoft Resource Interchange. file format for unix is audio city audio block file with the au file extensions are audio files stored in file format used by audio city then a real audio dot ra file extensions are the files that store audio data these files can be created for the real player media playback applications and lastly a mp3 file extension audio file save in a compressed audio format developed by the moving picture expert group mpeg okay let's we learn how to add sound to the multimedia projects before that what is multimedia multimedia is a combination of multiple form of media useful to communicate which include text audio video graphic and animations okay there are the factors must be considered before adding sound to the multimedia project firstly the file format We must make sure it's compatible with multimedia authoring software. It depends on the software we want to use because each software have a certain file format that can be played. We must make sure that our file format can be used in particular software. Next, the sound capabilities. It's offered by user system to be studied. For example, our device cannot play a sound of a larger file. Then we need to resize our file size so that we can play in our device. The next thing. is the type of the sound where this audio events will be occur for example if we want to put background music or sound effect in our project we need to keep on our mind where is the audio event will be occur maybe we want to be put in the in front or the end of our video that we include in the storyboard digital audio or mdi data should be selected on the basis of the location and time used This is because it might happen in our projects. They are personal digital audio and they are also certain part we want to put on media audio. Next is source material. We must acquire it either by creating it on the scratch or purchasing it. Whatever the source material we use, we can either create ourselves by recording our own sound or we can purchase the sound. Next, edit the sound to fit our projects. We can edit the sound when we finish insert all the sound we want to use in our project by using trimming normalizations and whatever techniques that I previously mentioned before. Lastly, we need to test the sound to be sure they are timed properly with our project. For example, we put sound effect in our project so we can make sure the sound effect is played inside our project are timed properly so that is not out of the place.